Positive Anime Reviews is a review show that is designed for people who aren't very picky about their anime, like me. Most anime I watch ends up in my 5 out of 5 category. My reviews are for those people who are looking for a reason to watch anime rather than hate on it. I am willing to give any and all anime a chance before stating my opinion. Lastly, my reviews are all my opinion and my and or most likely won't match yours. If you don't agree, that's totally fine. Just be respectful in the comment section. Thank you. And as always, possible spoiler warning ahead. Hey guys, Darth Clark here, back with another positive anime review. Today we will be talking about Akuma no Riddle, or a Akuma? I'm not really sure how much you're supposed to pronounce it. Akuma? Akuma. Akuma no Riddle, Akuma Riddle, no Riddle, you get it. It's a, it's an awesome anime. So, first of all, happy Sunday. Uh, obviously, I don't normally, normally record on Sundays, but today's schedule for me was a little bit different than normal. So, I thought, you know what, let's record a positive anime review because I finished my anime that I was watching, which is obviously this one. And, uh, yeah, so I finished all of that and I decided, you know what, if I do a positive anime review today, then that means that come Monday, we can just hop into the gaming stuff that we are currently working on. So I figured that that, you know what, that's a good plan, let's stick to it, so here we are. Anyway, so of course, like I said, we're talking about Akuma no Riddle. Now, this is a uh, this is a action shoujo I I think is how you pronounce it, but it's a Yuri anime, so if you're not into that type of thing, you know, speak now or forever hold your peace. And, uh, you know, you get the idea. So, um, as always, we will be starting off with our little... Well, actually, we, let's not go into the, to the synopsis quite yet. So, uh, as far as when this anime aired, this is the in the spring 2014 season. So, it was five years ago, I guess. So, it's not exactly brand new, uh, but obviously there's nothing wrong with that. Now, there is a dub in this one. Now, I have not watched the dub, so I can't tell you anything about it. Um, but, there is a dub for this anime. I have no idea if it's good or not. Um, and this is an adaptation from a manga. I should absolutely read the manga at some point, and uh, I haven't. I haven't read it, but I absolutely should. And uh, it was super. I yeah, the anime is super good, so I can only imagine that the manga, you know, probably re probably reflects that. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop into the synopsis. It'll be the easiest way to sum anything up. So here we go. So here we go. Man, I'm like slurring way too much. Anyway, Tokaku Azuma has just transferred to the elite uh, Miyojo, I think is how you pronounce it, Academy, a private girls' boarding school. But there's a catch. She, along with eleven other of her fellow, or ele along with eleven of her fellow students in class black, are uh, is an assassin taking part in the challenge to kill their their sweet-natured classmate Haru Ichinose. Uh, whoever succeeds will be granted their deepest desire, no matter the difficulty or cost. However, each assassin only gets one chance. If they fail to kill her, they will be expelled. Despite the extraordinary reward, Takaku decides to take a different course of action. Though Haru is her target, the young assassin soon finds herself drawn to the very girl she is supposed to kill. With the entire class out for Haru, Takaku refuses to let her friend die, vow vowing to protect her with a growing bloodlust. So there you go. It's a super cool and interesting premise. Um, and like I said, this is a shoujo I anime, a Yuri anime. And uh, yeah, so it's like, but it's all uh, on a different line than most uh, other Yuri anime are. Most Yuri anime, of course, are not about assassins, <laughs> as you might imagine. Um, but this one is on is obviously on the action-y side. Uh, it's all action. And so it's different because you still get some super... I would say super light Yuri stuff, because there's no, like, there's no, like, I mean, I don't know. It's much more subtle. It's much more subtle. There's not like there's obvious flirting or obvious this or obvious that. There is a not, there is a lot of little very light moments sprinkled over the whole anime. So you, there's no secret in anyone anyone's minds what's happening, but it's not super heavy or over the top. So, you know. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, there it's not super over the top. It's much more on the subtle side, but it is a nice. It is different, obviously. The premise is super is super original, and so yeah, and so you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. So moving on to our rating section. So the site that I'm using gives this thing a mature rating. I hesitate to to second that um, because. I would probably give this, like, if you're going to use gaming terms, I would give it, like, a T for teen type of deal or a PG-13 if you're using movies. Just because, like, the, the site says R, like, like mature, I kind of disagree. There's not, like, blood flying around. There's not, like, crazy sexual content. There's not there's not anything, you know what I mean? So I would give it, a, like, a teen rating. Like, I think if you're, like, PG-13 or above is probably fine. Um, just because it's not, there's not lots of bloodshed. I don't think it's an R type. I don't think it's, I don't think it deserves a mature rating. So that's what I would say. Uh, but as far as like how clean or dirty, there is violence, of course. People are trying to kill each other. Um, there's, uh, 
Yeah, there's a yeah, but otherwise, I mean, there there is violence, but there's not limbs aren't being cut off and and whatnot, so it's not that big a deal. Anyway, so moving on to the genre section of it's no surprise this is action action school and shoujo I, so you know everything you know everything that everyone expected, nothing new there. Uh, as far as season length is concerned, this is 12 episodes long. Now there is technically a 13th unaired episode. Now if you go to any site, it'll only probably list one through 12 as the as the anime and that is true um there is an uh, special the special is an unaired 13th episode but don't get excited because it is only the uh you know the obligatory beach episode and it's it literally contributes nothing to the anime um and that's coming for that's coming from someone who doesn't mind beach episodes or fluff i don't mind a lot of that but for, but for anime that like yeah, but it, it, it doesn't contribute anything, and so if you miss it, you're not missing anything important. So if you decide to not watch the not watch the special, don't worry, there's no development there. Um, the Anything you need to see is in the 1 through 12 episodes, and then you're good. So don't worry about that. Now, the episode uh, length is exactly what you'd expect at about 23 minutes. Uh, there is nothing. This is one of the uh, one of the anime that has nothing that, well... There is technically stuff after the closing song, but again, it's nothing important. It's there's this there's one of there's one super side character that he's barely a contributing character, um, and he's barely seen throughout the anime. He only has a few lines, but after the closing song, he just he just rambles for I don't know like a paragraph about stuff that no one has any idea what he's talking about, and it's, it doesn't add anything. It doesn't contribute anything. You're not missing anything if you don't watch it. So basically, when the closing song shows up, you. You can go ahead and take off because you're not missing anything afterwards that that matters don't worry there's nothing important going on um so you know so that's something so moving on to our character list now this is one that the character list again is super is the main character list is super short there's only two of them now there is a plethora of side characters but again there's only two main characters we'll be talking about those two um and there's a lot of side characters but Again, they're all supporting characters, so you can see see and learn about them once you're in the anime. So, that, so there you go. Anyway, so moving on to our very first main character, we have Tokaku Azuma. Now, she is the, I guess you could say, primary main character. It follows her. Uh, if you're looking at a picture, she is the blue-haired, serious-looking assassin chick and she's freaking awesome and uh yeah and so that is her that is tokaku now of course she's like like i said one half of the main of our main character list and tokaku in personality is super is super serious obviously she's an assassin that should be no surprise but she is super serious and she's and she's there's not a lot of over the top expression and she's uh and her and haru are obviously super tight and obviously they're they're crushing on each other that's like part of the that's a big that's a big part of the anime no surprise there um but takaku is very much what's the word uh reserved is that you could tell that after you watch it that there is stuff going on there she's not like that she's expressionless or she has no emotion she does she just isn't over the top at expressing it and honestly i really like her personality because throughout the anime all the other assassins she's super Super suspicious of everybody and like like so fast like if someone even stands up and they're near Haru she's just uh, she's just out of her seat and she's ready she's ready for war and so I like it because throughout the anime she has that whole attitude of like I don't trust any one of you and you're going down if you even move close in Haru's general vicinity you're dead and I like that and this anyway and so I loved her how protective she was of Haru and I love their super adorable like unspoken relationship that that I super loved and the uh, and and it, it was cool because obviously it is a shoujo I anime but there is still a lot of plot there and I liked that because there is there's a lot that, that keeps it together and there's a lot going on but it's not like over the top like they're just torturing you with uh with like needless drama or anything um, this anime does have some dramatic moments, but it's nothing that isn't undeserved. And I really like that because, again, it keeps it fresh, and I am not one for needless, uh, it is just needless stupid drama. So, that was pretty cool for me. Now, yeah, and otherwise, that that's kind of Takako in a nutshell. She's reserved, she's quiet, and she's cold hard steel, and I love her. So, moving on to our second and last main, other main character, we have Haru Ichidoze. Now, Haru is much, is much, she's very, very different than Tokaku. Now, obviously, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes, but, but on the surface, she's very, 
she's she's much more bubbly and she's much more normal and she's much more normal than everyone else here because everyone else obviously is a bunch of assassins and she is much more normal than than a lot of them um she's the only one that really participates in this in this class because they actually go to school and she's the only girl that is that is participating in like the classwork and the homework and she's like her goal is to actually graduate from the class everyone else's goal is just to kill her and move on with their lives except for of course Takaku. now it's obviously it's super different, and so she is the most normal out of out of the lot of them. Um, but there, but there is stuff going on underneath. She's just because she's a little more bubbly, it doesn't mean that she is like shallow or stupid or there's nothing to her. Now, if you're looking at a picture, which undoubtedly you will be, uh, she is the uh, she is like. I think I think she has red hair. She's like the red hair, probably smiling character that's probably uh, in the very near vicinity of Tokaku. That's her. She's wearing like a yellow. I think it's yellow. Like like a yellow. I don't know what the word is. Sweater, like vest type of thing over her over her school uniform. That's her. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, and so obviously, again, I love her and Takaku's little unspoken relationship thing. Uh, their relationship is super, super tight. Um, and the other thing that I liked is, uh, especially later on, she uh, has these moments where, like, an assassin is, like, making, is, like, trying to kill her. And she, she doesn't, I don't know. She's not an assassin, obviously, and she can't really fight like Takaku can. She can't fight, but she's not she's not stupid and she's not worthless because she has these moments. Uh, she has these moments where she has has to defend herself or whatever, and she does so really well, considering that she doesn't have any formal fighting training or assassin training. But she's not worthless. She's she's a really she's really smart and she makes some really cool moves. And I liked that that although she is the comparatively weaker one, that she she can't fight like everyone else can. She's very good about keeping herself alive regardless of everything that's happened to her and so again that was super cool that you had a character that wasn't like you know like 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 worthless you know that she was able to defend herself and do a pretty good job considering again she is not a uh she's not an assassin or a fighter and i really i really liked her so anyway but that but that's it uh like i said lots of supporting characters you'll get to know all of them and uh a lot they're all really well made they're all really cool and uh while we're in the character section uh so one thing that I really liked about this anime is all the, it does give you the, enough of the backstory about all the side characters that you care about them, and in the end they actually all get a happily ever after, and so and which you're you're actually happy about because you really like the supporting characters, you like all the assassins, um, all of their lives like improve after it's all over. And again, I'm not gonna give spoilers or whatever, but suffice it to say that all of the supporting characters are really well done and they get a happy ending, and you're super psyched for all of them. At least I was and I really liked that that everyone got the happy ending and unlike some anime that do the same thing you're happy that they got their happy ending because you really liked them and they were circumstances forced them all together but especially there's a few of them that you're like but I don't want you guys to fight I really like you and so everyone gets a happy ending and it's great I love that so moving on to favorite or most hated characters my favorite character is Takaku she is the sort of main main character and uh and she's my favorite she's just like ice cold steel and i love that she has like a she does have a soft side but she only she only has it briefly for haru and i love that she's she's just so cool and she is absolutely my favorite character and uh, as far as most hated characters, there isn't really anyone that I hated. My least favorite character is probably the guy that the the very limited supporting character. He's like Takaku's assassin boss type of deal, and I didn't like him at all. He just rambles for so long, and you have no idea what he's talking about. And so, but again, I didn't hate him. I just if I had to pick someone that I didn't I didn't have any opinion on for better or for worse, that would be him. I'm pretty neutral on him. But anyway. Moving on to animation and music. So, uh, the opening and closing songs for this anime were super cool. Um, and uh, they were super cool and super intense and kind of had not really a kind of a rock theme not totally but i don't know it's kind of has, has kind of a rock theme or a rock pop theme kind of kind of theme to it and i really liked it um and it's just it's super cool 
and uh, so that's really nice. Now the animation is on point in this anime. Um, the f all the fighting feels super tight, and there is a uh, several fights that are super highly choreographed, and you really feel the impact if someone gets hit. And it was just all on point. The, the sound design was great. That there was some moments where there's like blades, like you know, colliding or guns being fired. And it all felt very impactful. And not every anime does that, um, but this is one of the ones that does a great job. And I really, really liked that. The, all, all of the movement was super was super fluid. Um, and the different fight scenes is where you really notice it. And I was really happy with how the way it all turned out. And uh, it's super, super on point, which, which is great, of course. Um, but that's basically it. This one is on the shorter side. There's not as much to say. This is a pretty cut and dry anime. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So moving on to final rating and recommendation. I'm can, going to give this one a 5 out of 5. Very good. This anime made no mistakes worth noting and is definitely worth a buy. So, uh, this is an anime that I have seen before. I have seen it several times and it's always a good time. Um, and, uh, and I liked it because we've had some kind of mixed luck recently. Uh, it's either been four out of, lots of four out of fives, lots of four out of fives that so you're like, it was pretty good. This is the area they messed up pretty good. This is the area they messed up. And it's just funny because like historically, like, like eight out of 10 anime that I watch are all five out of fives. And so it's funny because the minute that I started doing reviews for YouTube immediately, like everything is four out of five and it's six out of five and it's all all over the place and so it's funny because previously that was never a problem but now it is and so it just it, it kind of cracks me up but anyway so this anime this anime is great and if uh, i absolutely recommend it you should absolutely watch it um yeah it, it, it's fantastic and it's a very different variety of you know yuri shoujo i anime and of course i am addicted to shoujo i slash yuri anime um, I will probably be watching a slew of them, I imagine. It's at least possible. Based upon my mood right now, odds are there, there, there might be a few more incoming. Um, and, uh, and so you will probably be seeing more and more of those reviews. But anyway, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, kind of, kind of cut and dry this, this time, but you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, uh, as far as our Monday's uploads, they should be totally normal, um, as far as I know. And, uh, we'll be doing, uh... So I looked up how close we were to the ending with uh, with uh, Infinite Warfare, and we're a few missions away. So either we could do make that our longer video and probably finish it, or we could make two short videos and skip Fallout. Um, we I we'll just have to see what happens. We'll play it by ear based upon how it feels once we're in. Then we'll kind of probably make a spur of the moment decision on that so we'll see last thing that i wanted to say before we close up on this one is uh thank you guys for all of these subscriptions uh, i've noticed that we are almost at 200 now and every day i check now i'm up i'm up another subscriber so thank you guys so much for that thank you for the views and the comments and all the participation it means more than you could know and uh, i am very happy with my channel growing i love i love doing this it is absolutely my favorite thing to do uh and my plans for the future i want to get a bigger and better and badder pc and uh and be able to do bigger you know sharper content i want to make all my stuff better and uh and i would love to continue pushing so thank you guys for everything i it means the world so that is going to call for this one uh like i said monday should be normal so that should be it anyway that is going to call for this one thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed the content today and we will talk to you guys later